when you thought that the San Antonio Spurs reign was going to end. You got Golden State doing their thing. You got Minnesota coming up, making all kind of trades. You got Utah. You got all these young teams that want to take a swipe at the most consistent franchise this decade and probably last decade, the San Antonio Spurs. Well, the San Antonio Spurs, ladies and gentlemen, they do things so under the table. It seems like they have a back cave, right? And they just... Draft guys that you never heard of. To the bat poles. And they take them in the back cave. And they like, you know, pump them up with all kind of stuff. And they train them. You know? And they like Captain America or something. I don't know. They got the serum. The San Antonio Spurs have a new player. His name is Bryn Forbes. Now, I'm just, I'm just... I'm just gonna get this out of the way. I'm gonna introduce you to, to, to Brent Forbes for those, for those that don't know. But I gotta do a separate video on this. NBA scouts, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. I will continue to say this. There are so many guys who are getting paid to make basketball decisions who don't do their job very well. You need to hire a guy like me. You need to hire some of these fans out here because we spend more time analyzing these guys than you do. But let me let me tell you about Brent Forbes. Brent Forbes, first of all, he's a winner. He won two state championships in the state of Michigan, back to back. His teammate was none other than Denzel Valentine. So. He's a winner, come from good stock, played with other NBA players. That was a good team that they had back-to-back -back state championship. Despite averaging 19 points a game on a team that won a state championship, Green Forbes was not recruited. No letters from Kentucky, no letters from Missouri, no letters from, you know, most of the colleges that you've heard, not even a Mac school, not Central Michigan, Eastern Michigan. I mean, I can't understand that. Western Michigan. He's in your home state. Nobody wanted him. Except a little old school that I never heard of called Cleveland State. He goes to Cleveland State. First year, he averages 12 points a game. Not bad. Second year, he averages 15 points a game. Okay, he has improved. And the boy is lights out shooting threes. He was pretty good in high school. He improved going to Cleveland State. Once he averaged 15 points, six points per game, his second year at Cleveland State. Then, Tom Enzo said, you know what, I think this guy can play. He had a family situation where uh, something was going on with his family. Somebody was sick, and he got a special hardship letter. And he was able to play at Michigan State right away. He didn't have to wait a year. First, you know, you know Michigan State is not Cleveland State, so they were a little bit stacked. He got his minutes, um, you know, about 20 minutes a game. He averaged eight points a game. Not, nothing to jump up and down about. But again, he shot lights out from three. But then he got his shot his senior year, and he balled out. He was named to the second team, all big team. All right, and he was fourth in the conference shooting three point. Okay, guy can shoot, always been able to shoot. Now, I don't know what Michigan State did that year. I need to go back and look, but I have seen guys who average six points a game, eight points a game, 10 points a game and be drafted by the NBA because, oh, potential. He's got potential, okay? But then yet, dudes who can really ball and ball right now. 
I heard somebody say something while I was watching summer league game. I thought it was ridiculous when they said, uh, "If you're a senior and you're just becoming a good basketball player as a senior in college, then you're not going to be a good NBA player." I thought that was the most ridiculous ass nine thing I ever heard in my life. What are you talking about? You're sending the wrong message to these kids. But that ain't that ain't what this video is about. That's a separate video. Okay? Brent Forrest went undrafted is what I'm trying to say. Shame on you, college scouts, NBA scouts, whatever scouts, GMs, presidents, whatever. He went undrafted. Okay? But some kind of way. The Spurs got to know him. They said, hmm, this guy looks interesting. Let's take a look at it. This is a couple days ago. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play two videos for y'all today. I'm going to play two of them. Look at that. My, I mean, the balance. Let me turn this up a little bit. Y'all can hear a little bit. Foul there. You can the first the first thing that jumps out is his athleticism. What what makes guys excel in the NBA versus college? See, college you can run off a system, and college all the defenders out there are not the 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 most athletic guys. In the NBA, everybody is athletic. So that's why you have so many guys in college that do well and then don't do nothing in the NBA. This guy, his athleticism, the way he moves around the court, the guy can move, man. The guy can move, and he creates a lot of space. Whoop. Went right through him. Good pass right there. Now, he's not a great passer, but you're going to see what he is. Oh, nice, nice. Good job not fouling right there, not pushing off. He should have been, that, that should have been a foul right there. Good steal. Okay, he's not De'Aaron Fox quickness. That's pretty good quickness. He, again, another guy that gets to the line. Yo. Yikes. Yikes. That's off the pick and roll. Scoop. Doc Rivers said, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Doc Rivers is on there like, I need to call my guy. Uh, I can't do I can't do a good Doc Rivers voice. Beautiful. I need, I need to call my guy and get him signed. Yeah. Oh, nice step back. He almost hit that, too. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. His, he his hesitation, man. It you got a few guys in this summer league, man. That hesitation is nice. Donovan Mitchells, Jason Tatums, and this guy. Good pass there. Now nah, he's he scored what 30, 35 points this game. No, haven't seen like a lot. That's because he's living at the line. That's what happens. Undrafted. Stop it. He still don't have a guaranteed contract. I would be blowing teams up right now. I would be blowing teams up right now. This was last night. Just in case you thought that 35 was a fluke. Oh, did he leave him? <laughs> See, like that that number 10, he's probably number five, he's probably a college player. 
I have no idea who that is. He left him. Whoop. And that was a foul. Come on, man. Stop. He was fouled, bro. He'll pass. That's San Antonio play right there. You know they always got bigs that can shoot. There you go. Get, he, living at the line, man. It's a skill. Mid-range. This guy, he, he looks like a spur. He looked like Patty Mills. You know, he's got a, he's a much better shooter than Tony Parker. Oh, he didn't make that. Why does he always go to his right, though, instead of just going to his left? I wonder if his left is weak because he always goes back. Like, he made that shot harder than what it had to be. So, he must not have a left. So that's something that I know is right there. So, he's scoring 35 points with one hand. <laughs> Kick it back. You know he's shooting. Been doing that since high school. You see how he's a little slow with his decision making? You know, I'm just giving y'all the full analysis right here. He's, you know, he has to kind of like think about his passes. That was a long time to get that pass out. And what's going to happen is guys are not going to be open, you know, because you take too long to make a decision. A good point guard will, you know, get the ball in the right spot and on time. Kick it out. Wide open. Good looking shot. Just. I mean, nothing special, man. Just pick and roll. <laughs> busting in your eye. Pick and roll, busting in your eye. That's all. Look at Popovich. <laughs> Yeah, my new project. I'm going to unleash him. <laughs> Look, cocky. Look, cocky. Most ball players are. Hey, you can't you can't play this game and not have belief in yourself, man. He ain't done yet. Uh, there you go again, Hezo. Going to the line again. Living at the line. No hesitation. No hesitation. Good looking shot, man. Mm-hmm. Here's a nice pass. Here's a nice pass. Good job. He got a natural lean to his shot, man. I like guys that got that natural lean. It's harder to block the shot. Yo, man. Shame on you, scouts. Shame on you, GMs. This guy can play. You're getting paid hundreds of thousands of dollars up to millions of dollars to make basketball decisions. How do you consistently keep missing on guys like this? This is what allows teams like the San Antonio Spurs, you know, who are always going to be picking towards the bottom. I mean, think about it. When the last time the Spurs had a number one pick, top five pick, top ten pick, they're consistently beating people with guys in the 20s, in the second round, or in this case, undrafted. Boston Celtics getting Isaiah Thomas 2.0, last pick in the draft. I mean, do your job, man. This guy can play. Now, I'm not saying he's a starter right away or anything like that, but he can help your team. And so now the Spurs have a dilemma. They got DeJounte Murray. They got Patty Mills. Don't know what's going to happen with Tony Parker. Hey, 
this this looks like another steal your minutes dude if patty mills have a have a cough he might not get his job back if patty mills get an ankle for about a week man he he might he might not get his job back and that's how you build great teams man so this is the spurs new secret weapon